I'm standing in the middle of the Stuart Cassiar Highway in northern British Columbia, a route that thousands of tourists each spring, summer, and fall travel on their way to the Yukon and Alaska. Yet 15 meters from the middle of this road, right here, I can shoot a grizzly bear. How's that for fair chase and ethical? I could be coming out here and photographing a bear on the side of the road and the very next person along could be a grizzly bear hunter and step off the pavement and shoot that grizzly bear. The area surrounding the Stuart Cassiar Highway has the densest concentration of grizzly bear mortality in the entire province of British Columbia. When you look at the numbers it's easy to see why. They give out 50 spring tags each year and 100 fall tags. So when you let people hunt 15 meters off of a roadway like this and you provide such easy access and give out so many tags, it's no wonder that this is the biggest concentration of mortalities. This is the exact stretch of highway where I ran into a couple of uh, grizzly bear hunters last spring. I was driving along looking for bears and uh, came around this corner here and there were a couple guys in camo carrying rifles along the side of the road, and, which is not that unusual in British Columbia. So I stopped and uh, started chatting to them and very quickly realized that they were actually hunting grizzlies. And I said, you can't do that off the road, can you? And they said, yeah, along here you can. You can just, as long as you're 15 meters away from the center of the road, uh, you're good to go. And I run into grizzly hunters and chat to them about why it is that they hunt bears. One of the things that keeps coming up is they, they love to pit themselves against the grizzly and they, they like the danger of it and the, the being out in the wild and all that sort of stuff. And I think a lot of people uh, have a bit of a romanticized notion of what grizzly bear hunting is. You know, you're off hiking and tracking through the wilderness, shooting a bear and going out and getting the hide and the head and so on and backpacking it out a great distance to your vehicle. But the reality is throughout most of British Columbia, uh, a lot of grizzly bear hunting is just done off of roads. I've got a paved road on me on one side, and on the other side I've got a transmission power line with a road going through it. You know, next time someone shows you this grizzly bear, they're all proud of, uh, of hunting in this great wild hunt. They might have just done it off the side of the road. One of the things that really bugs me about the grizzly bear hunt in British Columbia is when the province uses the language of wildlife management. And uh, to give you an example of that, the word harvest. They talk about the grizzly bear harvest. Well, when I think of harvesting, I think of corn or carrots. I don't think of grizzly bears. Let's call it what it really is. When we go out and shoot grizzly bears, we're killing them, we're slaughtering them, we're murdering them. We are not harvesting them. I want to be very clear that there's something very different about hunting grizzly bears than there is about hunting a moose, for instance. With a moose, most people that hunt moose in British Columbia take that moose, they cut it up, and they actually put it onto their own tables or give the meat away to their friends and family. With grizzly bears, that doesn't happen. People don't eat grizzly bear meat. What they do is they take the hide and the skull and they make it into a trophy that they then put as a rug in their house or up on their wall. It's strictly trophy hunting, and that is what I'm so strongly against in this hunt. It's kind of ironic driving along this road each morning because, you know, I'm out and I'm hoping that I see grizzlies, but I also know that there are grizzly hunters along here, so I'm kind of hoping that I don't see any grizzlies. We've seen, I think, five black bears total and not a single grizzly. We've actually seen a lot more grizzly hunters than we've seen grizzlies. Um, so I think that says something for sure. It seems to me that, you know, we're pushing this province as beautiful British Columbia, which of course it is, full of all kinds of gorgeous scenery and great wildlife. Yet, we have this ironic twist, and this deep, dark little secret from the BC government that hunters can come and drive along the same pavement we're driving along and shoot our bears.
Yes! Fuck yeah! Thank you for joining me for the first episode of Exposed with John E. Marriott. If this episode got you fired up and you want to take action against the grizzly bear hunt in BC, please check out the links in the video description and visit exposedwithjohnemarriott.com. You can also find us on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. Join me next episode on a journey to the Kutzmatine for a look at what a week-long adventure into Canada's only grizzly bear sanctuary looks like through the lens of a wildlife photographer. You can watch it here or subscribe to the newsletter on our website so you'll never miss a thing. Thanks for watching everybody and happy shooting with a camera, not a gun.